here at comics and stuff and oh my god they have my boy oh this is such a good hunt i can't believe it oh my gosh they even have ultron get the fuck out of here gosh yo yo you guys know yo you guys you know I can't leave without him, right? Oh, 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 yeah, baby. Thank you, comics and stuff in San Diego, baby. What is happening, fellow collectors, fellow subscribers, fellow hunters? Mike the Hunter here with a glorious victory of finding the Marvel Legends Hasbro series Doctor Strange, the comic book Doctor Strange that everyone wants on their comic book Avengers display. You guys saw I found this sweet baby at the mall in San Diego while I was on vacation with the family. I stumbled upon this place thinking, hey, you never know, I might find some sweet Marvel Legends there. There may be a slight chance that Doctor Strange is there. So the first thing I see when I walk in this place is they carry a lot of Diamond Select figures. No, they did not have the Unstoppable Hulk. They had a couple of G.I. Joes. They had a lot of higher end collector items like statues. They had Mario figures. They had Black Series. They had just about everything you can look for there. Not everything, but just about almost everything. Last but not least, they had a wall of Marvel Legends in the back and I saw them from a mile away. They had a pretty good amount of these guys. On top of other good Marvel Legends, I was so happy to bring him home as I could finally add him to my comic book Avengers display on the shelf you see behind me. So far, I have Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, Wolverine, Captain America. There are still a couple of more that I need to add, but this guy is definitely next. I don't know what kind of pose I'm gonna get him in. Maybe a crisscross applesauce in the air. Uh, levitating Doctor Strange pose. I think that would look pretty sweet. I don't think I'm gonna do the, you know, the, you know, him standing. I'm over it. I think I can get him in a pretty good flight pose, so we'll see what happens. But with that being said, folks, let's rip this guy out of the box as I have been waiting so patiently. Stefan Strange was a brilliant surgeon before an accident ruined his hands. Now he defends our reality from supernatural threats as Earth's Sorcerer Supreme. Doctor Stefan Strange. You finally get to be a part of the Mike the Hunter's lair. Slide that baby out. Oh my God, finally. I can actually smell this action figure. Oh, Chinese lead paint. You guys know I had COVID a while ago. My senses got all messed up. Couldn't smell my action figures worth a damn. The smell is strong with this one. Oh baby, yes. Pretty cool Doctor Strange background. Not gonna use it. A close look before I rip him out of the plastic. Very cool, comes with a couple accessories as you can see. He's got an ax here, he's got the Kirby effect here, which I'm not a fan of these. Damn it Hasbro, I thought you were done with these. Got some alternative hands to pop on, got an alternative head sculpt. I'm not quite familiar with that head sculpt by the way, what is that? He's got a very cool alternative head here. Uh, I plan on using this one um, if I put him in a levitating pose. This one is pretty cool, but like I said, this one is something we haven't gotten yet, so I kinda wanna take advantage of that. Very impressed with the detail on the body. We have not gotten this type of suit before. You turn it around, you can see that we have a sweet cape. Hopefully it's not too heavy uh, and it doesn't give me problems with posing the Doctor Strange. I hate heavy, thick capes um, that just pull back the weight of the figures. It's such a pain in the ass trying to balance them out with that. And if you try to do a cloth cape for Doctor Strange, you're, kinda, you're gonna have a challenge on your hands because obviously you got a lot of detail to compete with here. Uh, you got the collar, which is very important. Um, the centerpiece here of the cape. Oh yes, one more smell out of the box. Very well impressed with this figure, uh, just, just with the details um, themselves. Take a look at that nice Doctor Strange hair, the Doctor Strange gray. No one else can pull that hairstyle except Doctor Strange himself, man. He looks really good. Maybe Mr. Fantastic, but uh, Doctor Strange definitely looks better with it. I love the, uh, the mustache there. The legs are a little basic, not much paint there. I do like the feet, 
Um, I feel like I can always get the, the figures in a good balance with these. They're very flat, uh, very easy to pose. But whatever, not too impressed about the black legs. There's just nothing on them to be excited about. Not a big deal though. Not too much shadowing on the cape. I'm just seeing a basic red here. If you look carefully on the cape, there are designs sculpted in there, which looks cool. It, it would have been nice to see some dark shadowing in there too, maybe some black wash to make that stand out. I'm really impressed with the wrinkles on the arms here. Really showing a lot of detail in there. Looks pretty nice. Got some nice wrinkles here. I don't see any huge point outs with the articulation. It's, you know, it's nothing we haven't really received before, in my opinion. He does have an ab crunch. He does have a waist swivel. With the legs are nice and stiff. I feel like you're able to get a good balance with these legs. The arms are a little stiff. Um, I don't think there's really a necessary reason to have butterfly joints on a Doctor Strange figure, so no big deal there. The head does not look far up at all, um, and it does not look down that far either. Oh, yeah. He looks so much better with that one. I love this head. I love this face sculpt. Definitely looks better than the other one. These pieces are cool and all, but I, I don't think I'm gonna use them, guys. Um, I'm just gonna keep them safe, especially the head sculpt. Really don't care too much about that one. Um, I just mainly wanna get this figure posed and put on that shelf. So with that being said, let's do that. All right, guys, the Avengers setup is looking pretty sweet so far. Got Doctor Strange up there. Doctor Strange looking epic in his levitating pose. He's got his Kirby effects on his hand looking good. Right behind the Incredible Hulk. Right beside the epic Iron Man. I honestly think I could fit a couple more on this shelf. Um, given, you know, we're, we are missing Spider-Man. We are missing Black Panther. We're missing a couple of others, but we might stop at those two. I don't know yet. Don't quote me on that. Because the more figures I add on this cool little stand, the more epic my shelf pops out. He just looks really good with these guys. He's got the colors that pop just like the rest of these. I love the vibrant colors that stand out on the shelf. Really give you that Avengers look as if you're looking at an Avengers poster. So there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think about the display so far. Do you think there's a better pose I could have put Doctor Strange in? And let me know what your favorite part about that Avengers display is. I really like to hear your guys' feedback as uh, I like to hear how my posing is. I was really happy to share with you guys how I found that epic Doctor Strange. There's nothing like an epic toy hunt to share with the guys. I feel like I've been getting lucky lately with the finds. First, I found Croc Master on my vacation. Then I found Doctor Strange on my vacation. Something about toy hunting during vacations that it gives you that extra luck when you're out. The fig gods are like, ah, he's doing good out there. He's having fun with the family. Let's throw him some figs. Hasbro, keep it coming with these awesome comic book legends. You're... Hasbro, keep it coming with these awesome comic book legends you guys are cranking out. Fuck! <laughs> Hasbro, keep it coming with all of these awesome comic book legends coming out. Sculpts are getting better. The paint is getting better. Overall, the attention to detail is getting better. I just ask that you guys don't recycle parts as often. Get rid of the Kirby effects. We're tired of them. I'm pretty sure people have many left over to come from collecting your other lines. And we pretty much have every color there is when it comes to the Kirby effects. We don't want it to get to a point where we have to make our own effects with hot glue and paint. And also keep giving us as much detail as you're putting into the GI Joes. With that being said, folks, I'm gonna go admire my Avengers shelf as it looks pretty sweet so far. I'm gonna think about which Black Panther I should add to that set and which Spider-Man would look good on that set. I could always use your guys' help, so don't forget to comment below. If you like these awesome unboxings and you like keeping updated with my collection, be sure to subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell as I upload at random times. I thank you very much for watching this video. Definitely more to come, folks. With that being said, enjoy your figs, enjoy your families, and as always, good hunting. Peace, thy brother.